Hello everyone, welcome to Leostic channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Today what I'm going to do is I am going to upgrade my Sony Alpha 6000 firmware to the new one. So that is why I thought before I start upgrading, it's better to share the whole process with all of my followers and those who are a big fan of technology. Anyway, guys, if you, uh, the first thing you need to make sure is that you have to plug your Sony Alpha 6000 uh, using USB and plug it to the computer. So right now I plug my uh, Sony Alpha 6000 to the computer. So in here, if you look at the procedure system, uh software update to verify the device name connect usb cable uh, to the camera and press the verify button so so far i knew what version of the uh, i mean which series or or we can say uh i'm using for uh, so uh, probably you may have uh, alpha 6 1500 or maybe you guys have a alpha 6300 and you can see that the update is available these are the most recent update which is available so minus alpha um, 6000 so um, if i click in here you will see that there is a um, you can find it two ways in here just give me one second look at here so when you scroll down, you will see that one is designed for Mac OS. If you're using Mac OS, you can click in here and download. If you are using Windows like me, I'm using Windows 10. So I will definitely uh, download this one. I have already downloaded. So the reason which I share these things is that this is how you can download. What I'm going to do is that I will definitely command. Uh, I will put this link in the description as well just simply click and download so if you want to access uh, for example remote access your camera so in here we have imaging age desktop for desktop imaging age for mobile i think probably you have already installed this application if it's not then not it's not necessary but i'm not using this one for my desktop so far all right so what i'm going to do is i will click on uh, ILCE 6000 system software let's click on this one uh, once I click on this one what I'm going to do is that um, uh, just give me there's an instruction you don't have to but you have to make sure that your camera has enough battery uh, if it is 70% uh, it's fine 25% good and less than 50% and won't accept it it says that you are not able to upgrade the firmware because the battery is lower so you have to keep in your mind so just uh, click download and you will be a witness of download application in here so look at here it is downloading all right so it seems to me my internet is very slow, uh, very fast and i'm so excited for that as well um yes i I just download this application. Let's double click. So in here is unzip the file. You should know just double. I, I, I just double click on this application. I haven't done anything. So in here, connect the camera and computer. So it's already connected. This is what I said. Connect camera and computer. There you go. There you go. Um, one thing you should keep in your mind uh, is that it may ask for restart. You just need to go to your camera uh, background and see the screen click the like the menu button the camera will automatically restart then it will come to this uh, stage or we can say into this procedure so the current version is 2.0 uh, and i'm going to upgrade it to uh, version 3.21 and so on let's run and see what's gonna happen so the good thing is i have a i mean battery which has a about 35 percent uh charge which is great so that's why it's asking to make sure that the camera is connected to usb and you're good to go so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna wait to see uh, once the 
this procedure is over and we'll start from there all right guys I just upgrade my special camera and I truly like this camera it is uh, I can say it's 2022 still I'm using this camera it's a beautiful camera and I'm so glad I just upgrade the firmware of Alpha Sony 6000 I hope the information was very helpful I will definitely put the description the link in the end down the description go ahead and click and download the software in your operating system the desktop that you have the computer that you have once you download it then you have to make sure that the camera is connected to your computer once your camera is connected to the computer then start double click on the download file and follow this instruction i'm sure you're good to go all right until next time i say say be brave and of course see you guys next time